you see the size of the paddle on that pool right there? Whoa. There's a giant bull right there. I hope you guys all had an amazing Thanksgiving. And what I want to talk about today is something that would be very cool to add in the future. And that is basically being able to hunt baits in Call of the Wild. Well, it's not necessarily a bait right now, but we do have a couple locations where the bear have been hanging out. And technically, if you think about it, it's kind of like a bait. So here's kind of what we have going on. I have a couple locations where I saw some decent bear. And what we're going to do is try and hunt them during the day, right away in the morning where they feed. I have a location over here and I have two stands set up here. So what I'm hoping for is that we catch them as they're heading down to their feeding zone and we potentially get a shot off here. If not, we're going to have to come back here at night and try and get them over in this area here. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of decent bear in this area. So let's go see if we can't get some. All right, guys, so I can see our tree stand right there, less than 80 yards out from us. But we're already getting a call from a bear, so we know there's something in the area. That means we gotta lay low and try and play the wind. Unfortunately, the wind is blowing directly towards where our tree stand is. So I think if we hang tight in this brush here, wait a little bit longer, then the wind should eventually shift back in our favor and we'll be able to get in position to get into our stand. All right, guys, so we're less than 25 yards out from this bait right here. There's actually a deer carcass with a rib cage right there, and the bear should come down here and want to feed on it. It would also be really cool if the coyotes would come here and feed on it as well, because that's what they do in real life. All right, guys, take a look what's coming in. We got a bear, we got a six hard, and a five medium coming in. The five medium's coming around the backside, and the six is, looks like he's actually circling to the right side of us as well, right there. Now, the bait is right over here, so I'm kind of curious where this bear is trying to get to. Looks like he's holding tight out there at about 77 yards. A little too far for a shot, but we might be able to take down this 5 medium here, which is holding tight right there at about 48 yards out from us. If he gets a little bit... Oh, here he comes, here he comes. The 6 is coming right in perfect to us, guys. He's coming right in. And there's the five. He's in range, 17 to 20. Decent sized one, but this one's just a little bit bigger. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he's holding tight at about 40 right there. 57. If he slows down, we might take that shot. It's a tough angle. Going for the shot. Look good to me. Looked really good to me. Uh, I don't know what the heck we hit. That shot looked perfect. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, might have messed that one up, but we got another bear right here coming in as well. Let's see if we can't call him in a little closer. How was that shot not good? I'm thinking it had to have been penetration. Lack of penetration. Oh, here he comes. We got the recurve bow. This bear's gonna come right underneath us, guys. Look at this. He's in range. But boy, is that a tough angle. Shot looked good. Centered him pretty good. He took a step forward, but... Why are we not getting penetration with this? What's going on here? Put a follow-up into him. Oh, got good penetration that time. He's going down. He is down right there. First black bear out of the tree stand this year. All right, so I am really curious as to how that shot right there didn't connect there's absolutely no reason that that bear shouldn't have been completely smoked like i'm kind of blown away at the fact that it wasn't smoked 
I mean... Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Or at least, like, drop the percentage a little bit. But both those shots... Now, mind you, that second one was with the recurve. I don't know. Luckily, that's not the big bear. You know? I would much rather mess up... Not that you want to mess up, but... I would much rather mess up on a smaller size black bear than a big old giant. That's for sure. So, let's pick this bear up. Alright, so... That does make sense. 21 yards out. Walking and got a stomach shot. 17.9. Not quite big enough for gold anyways. The second shot, we actually did get decent penetration. Um, right lung there at 18 yards out with the recurve right out of the tree stand. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out like the other bear we took was quartering like this and I was holding right here. So unless we drop below the lung, I guess that could be a possibility. That could have been what happened. But let's go over here and try and figure out where that bear even went. You know what? I don't even know if that bear's gonna go down from that shot, to be honest. Like, is a flesh shot gonna take down a big black bear? Because I honestly don't think it's going to. But if it doesn't go below 25%, then this bear might not go down from that shot. Well, I was wrong about that, because our bear is piled up right here. He didn't go very far at all. Only went like 150 yards, but I have absolutely no clue how that shot wasn't good enough to take him down. Let's go over here and examine the shot. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about a heart shot? Like, what else do you want? Look at that. It's right in there, right tight to the armpit, quartering away. Yeah, you could argue we were a little too far forward, I suppose, but... I mean, the heart is right up in there somewhere. I don't know. Let's pick it up and find out what the heck we did. 19.45, so it would have been a gold. Oh, man. We dropped low. 56 yards out, and we dropped right in between that armpit. Just a little bit too low. I mean, we're talking a good four inches too low. Let's be real, but didn't miss by much. Four inches can make a big difference, though. That's what she said. So, it's a little unfortunate that he didn't make gold. But, like I said before, he's not one of the big ones. He's a decent one, but he's definitely not one of the big ones. Boy, talk about one heck of a rough way to start off the hunt. We're basically 0 for 2. Both shots on those bear were not very good. <laughs> Although, the second one, the follow-up shot with the recurve, did save our bear. That's still two not very good shots. So now we're going to switch it over to white teal deer and see if we can't find some decent bucks. Well, that didn't take very long at all. We literally just got to our first spot here and we got a buck less than 30 yards out from us. But we also have our tripod set up right here. And I've been seeing a pretty good sized buck in this area. In fact, we were here, was it like three or four days ago? And I spotted a beautiful white tail somewhere nearby. So we're definitely not going to go taking the first shot on that buck right there. That's for sure. All right, we're in. Oh my God, that's him. Look at that. 25 yards out from us. Beautiful white tail buck. There's another buck there. Wow, he's actually quartering. Perfect. Another decent buck there as well. Here's all the deer. Look at them all. Look at them. They're lined up all over there. Holy. What's that buck now? Oh my god. That's the one. That's the one right there. I mean, that's a beautiful buck. Don't get me wrong. But that is definitely the buck that we want. Look at the rack on that thing. No shot though. So we're going to have to be patient. And wait for him to step out into range. Oh, look at that buck. It's a solid looking buck right there too. Look at this. What an absolutely incredible spot here. For just some beautiful whitetail bucks. Now the question is, what do you do? Do you sit here and hold tight and wait for this buck to step out? Or do you just absolutely smoke 
this beautiful white tail buck right here. You know what I mean? It's like, he's definitely going to score about 10 points more. So the question is, do you have the patience? Oh my God, there's our buck, there's our buck. All right, he got a little bit spookish there because that one buck ended up spooking off. There he goes. I can't imagine he's going to go too far though. All right, so at this point, I feel like the only thing we can really do is definitely take down this beautiful white tail buck here. Smoked him. Quartering away, perfect shot. He's going to pile up right there. And I don't think our big buck's going to spook from that. So that actually worked out pretty well. I don't see him right now, but... Oh, there he is, there he is. 90 yards out. Oh my god, I think he's coming back in. Oh my god, he's coming back, he's coming back. Here he comes. If you look closely, you can see he's just on the inside of that tree. That buck's trotting off. Oh, hold up. We got motion. Oh my god, finally. Finally, he's stepping out. 50 yards out. Not exactly a shot, but... He's definitely stepping out. Ooh, that's almost a shot. That's a shot. 50 yards, that's a shot. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Get out of that brush. I am not taking that shot. Oh, I'm taking that one, though. Smoked him! Perfect shot, he's down. Yes. Holy, back to back, beautiful whitetails. That was a very difficult shot. I didn't want to hit that lower branch there, but I knew we could definitely go right through it. So I held right on it and we went right through that pocket and smoked that giant buck. Let's get down there and go take a look at him, guys. Holy, that was a tough hunt right there. All right, so here's our first whitetail down. Swimming around over here. Let's pick him up. 226 gold. Took a quartering left lung shot at 27 yards out. Kind of a pretty awesome shot, actually. But a great rack on that buck as well. I honestly didn't know he was going to be that big. But what a great buck. And here is our giant 230 plus whitetail buck down. Look at the rack on that thing. Man, that looks awesome. All right, let's pick him up. It's gonna be, holy, a 239.4, 48 yards out, and he's a gold. What a giant buck, and what an epic shot. Ended up getting a perfect double lung shoulder blade shot at almost 50 yards out with the bow, 240, and he weighed 204 pounds. I knew he was nice, but that is a beautiful whitetail buck. Hold up, I hear more deer coming in. They might walk right past us here. Oh, right there. Oh my God, perfect. Buck, decent one, snuck up to five yards from us and we just smoked him right there. That was the eight pointer that I wanted for a little while now. Perfect double lung hard shot, nine yards away. Nice little bonus. Ooh, got a buck way out there at about 260. We got the AR-308. And we smoked him. He's down right there. Boy, it's raining like crazy out here right now. And it's actually raining quite a bit as well in real life, so that's kind of interesting. But here's our buck right on top of this ridge here. Yeah, it rained so much for uh, Thanksgiving that the roads were actually completely flooded here in Texas. But there we have a walking 260 yard, perfect, right behind the front shoulder, double lung shot, and a 160 on that solid white tail buck right there. Honestly, this buck here might have the same exact rack as that one. We're going to have a tad bit of drop, but we have some good elevation here. So, oh, 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 why is that deer moving? 
Well, we really can't chance that. Smoked him. Perfect shot. He is down. And our other buck should cut across over here somewhere. There he goes. There he goes. How the heck did I miss that shot? Ooh, look at what just walked in. Holy, we got a beautiful whitetail buck here. So we took down both those deer. We can definitely take down one more. I ideally like to be in this tree stand so we don't get any more hunting pressure, but again, with this wind, it's only 90 yards out. Oh, there he is. Gonna trot through there, huh? And that would give us absolutely no shot. What we're probably gonna try and do is slowly work our way back into this tree stand here, which I believe is like right there somewhere. Anyways, once we get into that stand, we should be setting pretty good. Well, there's a buck right there. It's not him, but it's a good one. There he is. Oh my God, I found him. He is right there, 130 yards out from us, guys. Bad wind, unfortunately. And I don't think he's going to come any closer. But that's why we have the AR-308. Oh, another good buck. All right, that's going to be our shot. I'm empty. Man, that would have been a hard shot too. All right, here we go. 150 yards. Smoked him. He's down. Look at all the deer here, man. Taking off everywhere. We got does coming right underneath us here. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh my God, here he comes. He's in range. He's 30 yards off from us. I don't have the recurve, but this is a perfect setup right here. All right, we're going right over the top of that branch. Hole for 30. Perfect shot. He's down. All right. Well, that turned out pretty cool. I ended up getting three bucks out of that. Maybe even four if I hit that other one. Potentially. I don't know. A lot of hunting pressure. Here's our buck down right here. The last one ended up getting double lung spine shot. 196 gold at 20 yards out. So a solid buck down indeed. And then we got those two over here as well. That's a good buck too. 193.65 just shy of being a goal, but perfect double lung shot. 230 yards out. And here is our big buck. Right here. That's going to be a 216 goal. Pulled off a perfect double lung shot at 132 yards. Wow, I didn't realize he was that close. I thought he was like 180 plus, but what a great buck though. I think he's like the second biggest one of the day. We were just headed down to try and get some moose and I spotted a beautiful boar black bear trotting through here. It's a big old level seven and he's max potential weight as well. So we're gonna try and get on the track of him and see if we can't take him down with the AR-308. The wind is not very good, but that bear is definitely a nice one. So we're gonna try and take him down as soon as we get a chance. There he goes right there, guys. We just got eyes on him about 70 yards out from us. I need a somewhat of a decent angle for a shot. Him. Okay, there he is. Come on, slow down. He slowed down, but did he? Uh, we... Whoa, there's a couple bear down there. The one that we just spotted is definitely not the one that we're after. But if he stopped there, that might mean the other one's going to join him. Okay, so there he is. 
But where did our big seven go? There he is. Oh my god, there he is. There he is. He's 160 yards out. We were right, guys. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, oh, oh. Here he comes. Bad wind, though. You see that? Wind's blowing right towards him. That basically means any second we get, we got to take the shot. He's only 150 out right there. Perfectly broadside. That should be our shot right here. Yep, that's our shot. We got him. I forgot we're shooting the AR-308 at the black bear and the black bear are tough. So when I shot, <laughs> held for the heart and didn't see the percentage drop in, I thought, oh boy, what did we just do? But no, it just took a little while. We definitely smoked him. I'll tell you that. Got good blood right here. And we got our bear down right here. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. Huge level seven black bear down. And we pulled off a perfect right lung shot at 156 yards out, a 20.7 gold. Male black bear down. Oh, that's so cool. Because we just got a big gold dusky. Now we got a big gold black black bear. Man, that's awesome. So we waited for the right moment, had patience, and made a perfect shot on this black bear. Did put a follow up as well, but uh, I was thinking we'd maybe hit the spine. Looks like we were nowhere near hitting the spine. So luckily that first shot definitely connected at 160 yards. All right, we got eyes on our first bull moose out here. Not a giant, but definitely not too small. Um, we have the 300 Magnum, I just can't remember. Eight, okay. Ooh. Hold up, there's two solid bulls. Decent three out in the front and another one behind them. But we're looking at about 150 yards. Hold up, there's a bunch more coming. Looks like a cow. And another cow. But I'm wondering if they're gonna join these cows. Probably. All right, so. I'd like to try and get the one in the back as well, but it's not looking like that's gonna happen unless he stops right there. He's gonna keep on going. We'll take him on the follow-up. So go for him first, make an absolutely incredible shot, and then go for him as well, and make a pretty darn good shot also. In fact, he's gonna pile up right in that tree. Ooh, there's a good three, a really solid looking bull out there at 350. He's kind of quartering away. Did we smoke that thing? Because it looked like we should have. Maybe not so much. Definitely hit two times though. There's a cow. All right, so I would imagine that bull should go down from that. Yep, it's gonna. We got hunting pressure. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Piled up right inside of this tree. Perfect double lung shot at 229. 175. 178.11. So not quite. But pulled off a beautiful 220 yard double lung and heart shot with a 300 Magnum. All right, so the bull that we shot from before should be over here somewhere. There's another moose right there, as a matter of fact, cow moose. But didn't that bull run through here? Well, it was coming this direction. All right, here's that level three solid looking bull. We did save that bull, no freaking way. So the first shot I tried to take him on the trot at 360. And you can see we let him quite a bit too much and we were also high. 
But then we got a follow-up on the run at 370 yards. And that shot saved that bull. Not only was that a good shot, that shot was absolutely money. What a heck of a shot. 370 yard running right lung shot on that bull moose. What do we got there now? It's a bull. <gasps> Holy, did you see the size of the paddle on that bull right there? Whoa. There's a giant bull right there. I was honestly seconds from taking a shot on this bull. And it's a good thing we didn't take the shot because right around the corner is a massive bull. And I'm pretty sure he was back. Oh, there he is. Holy, look at the size of that bull. 211 to 265. It's an absolute massive bull moose. And that is dime potential. Holy, is that thing dime potential. Wow. Now, if this cow wasn't in the way, all right, she's about 90 yards out there and she is not gonna calm down, so. Got a good hit into her. She is not going far. Of course, she has to go right to our giant bull, doesn't she? She's going down. Oh my God, there he is. He did not spook. So that giant bull should be right behind this ridge here. In fact, he should be. Oh my god, there he is. Oh my god, he's right there. I didn't realize how close he was going to be. But he's less than 80 yards away from us right now. So if we can get to this grass here, we should be about 50 yards and be able to take the shot. Honestly, if we can get to 70, I would love to take that shot. Because... Oh, That's it, we can't get closer. He's already sensing us. We got zero in for 60. We're gonna crouch up, hold a little far back cause he's quartering away. Smoked him. Oh my God, that's a giant bull. And he just tipped over right there. Oh, the cow is still on top of us. Look at this. The cow was right there the whole time. <laughs> oh man, what a heck of a bull. And to be able to take him at about 80 yards out, quartering away with the bow was pretty incredible. There's that small bow we saw from before. And I feel like at this point, I could probably take the shot if I got one. Although that is not a shot. So we'll hold off on that. All right, let's go over there and go take a look. I'm gonna say he's gonna be like a 246 bull. Maybe 250s, what is that? <laughs> oh, that's the cow that we shot from before. Remember the cow that was kind of blocking the entrance to crossing the river? <laughs> well, there she is down right there. And look at what's laying right over here. Just about walked right past him. All of a sudden I turned back and I looked and I saw that is definitely our bull. Look at the size of the paddle on that. Holy, for a level four? Man, that is incredible. Wow. That is a great, great bull to take down. What a giant. What an absolute giant bull. All right. Well, this will be it. Let's pick him up and find out what he's going to score. It's going to be a 243.5. We double lunged him at 77 yards out. And honestly, I am glad we held far back because the wind pushed it wide left. Take a look at that. Holy. I mean, yeah, it was an awesome shot, but the wind definitely pushed it wide left and we hit the front part of that lung. But look at the paddle on that thing. 243.5 gold bull moose and he weighed 1,000 
240 pounds. And the last thing that we can hunt is at the very last hour of the day, the next species that we can hunt for is going to be the black bear. All right, guys, here we are. This next spot is the spot where I spotted a really nice boar black bear, a really nice male. He was down here a couple days ago, and we know he likes to feed down here. So what I did is I went up in here about 50 yards up into this brush and put a stand right in this tree. So we're going to get up in that tree and hope that he comes right into range for a shot with the compound bow. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we got eyes on a bear coming in guys. Not sure which one it is just yet. Oh my god, it's him. It's the big boar coming in. He's less than 100 yards out and he's coming right perfectly. There's the path right there I was hoping he was going to come down. Looks like he's going to come just shy. Oh, I changed my mind. He's coming perfect. He's still coming perfect. Oh my god, he's 50 yards out right there. All right, so he should work his way right down the edge of this brush row here. Is that another bear? No, it's just a shadow. But he's working his way down here. And we'll probably be able to take him once he gets down here. That's like the ultimate goal. But we'll keep an eye on him here and see kind of what he decides to do. Boy, is he smart. He's 50 yards out. Keep an eye on him, guys. There he is right there. Oh my god, he's going to stop right there 50 yards out from us. He's in range. But that is not a shot. <laughs> that is definitely not a shot. Man. Oh, he's stepping forward. He's stepping forward. Come on, go a little more left. Right there, right there, right there. 50 yards out, 50 yards out. That's a shot, that's a shot. Smoked him. Oh, what an epic shot. What an epic shot, where'd he go? But guys, I honestly could not be more proud than that moment right there. We just took him down 50 yards out, a beautiful boar black bear down. Now let's get down there and go try and find him. All right, so everything looks a lot different once you get down here. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure he was on the back side of this brush over up in here. Was he not? Pretty sure he was like right down over in here. Yeah, he was definitely right here somewhere. Yep, right there. Nice blood right there. Oh my God, there's our bear down. He didn't go 50 yards and piled up right here, guys. What a heck of a shot and what an awesome bear down right here. Oh, that's what it's all about. What a nice shot. Took him right in the front shoulder as he was quartering at us. And we smoke this 20.86 goal. Black Bear, 51 yards out and pulled off a perfect right lung shot. Wow, that was awesome. And he's a Dusky as well. Oh man, that's so cool. So technically we could have been a little bit higher, I suppose. But overall, I mean, that's a pretty epic shot. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what your strategy for taking down the great one, great ones in plural, is going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.